quick explanation. This is a church in Hamburg, one of the tallest church I've ever seen probably in my life. Highly recommend it if you're in Hamburg. Anyway, moving on. Suppose you need to edit your uh, photo into Photoshop or you want to send your photo to another application that you have without needing to um, export them individually and reopen it. How can you do that in Selkipix Developer Studio Pro? Let's find out. So let's say you're, you've done your edit, you're happy. However, you need to do your further editing. We always need to do that. And let's say you have Photoshop. I don't. Or you have a group of Affinity photos or any other Affinity products or other software where you like to open your uh, photograph. How do you do that? Let's find out. You click it there. You have a register application. You click there. For the sake of the example, I'm going to get rid of one of my application and add it again. So I click add, select an application. I do not have Affinity Photo here. If I had it, all I had to do just click. But I don't have it here. What I do, I click other, windows, affinity, photo, and then you have the photo point exe. You click it there. And now this is important. How you like to have your photos in for affinity or whatever the software that you have. You have a JPEG or a small TIFF 8-bit or 16-bit TIFF. Generally, ideally, you want 16-bit to have the maximum color information in your photograph. But if your photograph is too big and your system is uh, not really strong enough to handle 16-bit um, photo, we can always uh, pick between JPEG and TIFF. Let's say here I'm going to select 8-bit. Done. Now, second part is really important as well. Very important, guys. Temporary storage uh, folder for images. This is where you determine where they're going to keep your temporary photos that you have exported to one of the application. If you don't do that, the system is going to select for you and you might have a hard drive uh, completely full without knowing what happened. So you can select browse and select your folder where you want to save your images okay and let's find out how if it works or no so you click photo wait for it and then all you have to do wait for the time to open it and it was really quick actually look at that it's already ready to edit now we can do your further editing yeah i do use affinity photo but if you have photoshop you can do exactly the same thing Ideally, if you have Photoshop, that means you have Lightroom, so you don't necessarily have to do that. The, this is for those who don't have any of those uh, Lightroom or Photoshop, but want to have the same kind of flexibility between the softwares. In that case, this is useful. I highly recommend it. You won't regret it. Have a wonderful day. I hope this is useful. Bye-bye.